So why is the national grid capacity first come, first serve? Well, for the purposes of a very simple example, if you live on a cul-de-sac with 10 houses, whoever installed the electricity connection to the cul-de-sac will most likely have installed a large cable from the transformer, which then branches off to the 10 houses. There'll be a certain amount of capacity within that infrastructure to accommodate microgenerators like solar PV and battery storage. If the first house then installs a solar system, some of that capacity is now taken up. When the second house comes to install solar, there will be less capacity available for them. Now, maybe by the time you get to the fifth or sixth house, the grid may hit you with grid restrictions such as generation and export limitation. Then by the time you get to the tenth house, that house might be stuck with the bare minimum of 3.68 kilowatt per phase or they'll have the option of paying for upgrades to the local grid. It's worth noting that the DNO must allow a minimum of 3.68 kilowatt per phase without contest. So every house should at least be able to get eight to 10 panels and a hybrid battery storage system. If you are interested in getting a larger system, it's certainly worth cracking on with it, especially when you see a local installer's van outside your neighbor's house.